Peter Ballas here, cardiologist. Now, a common topic that is often discussed between patients and doctors who may be on medicines for high blood pressure is, should I take my tablets in the morning or the evening? And is there a difference? Well, some new research has come out that I wanted to share with you today that shed some light onto this topic. Now, high blood pressure is a very common condition around the world. High blood pressure does increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, and it is important that we do control high blood pressure. So often, apart from lifestyle changes and weight loss, reducing certain intake of salts in the diet, then if we're not able to succeed in achieving good blood pressure control, we often have to commence medication. And it may be that you are on one or two or multiple medications that are often needed and combined to actually help control blood pressure. It is important to control this because blood pressure and symptoms related to that are uncommon. So you may not have any symptoms whatsoever, but blood pressure may be high and that therefore poses a risk long term. Now, Taking medication in the morning or in the evening really hasn't been shown to have any particular difference or change in outcomes. But there have been a couple of studies that have shown that potentially taking medication in the evening offers better blood pressure control over 24 hours and may help reduce the risks of heart disease and cardiovascular disease in general. There were some issues, however, with these studies and how they were conducted. So... Other data has been lacking up until recently. Now, only very recently, a large study was published in a very prestigious journal called The Lancet. And this study arose from investigators working in the United Kingdom called the TIME study. The TIME study was a very well-conducted study that looked at more than 20,000 patients over a long period of time and the median follow-up was about 5.2 years. So the study involved recruiting patients who were on medication for high blood pressure. Patients were then randomized, so this was randomly done 50-50 chance of going into one group or the other. And the first group was taking medication for blood pressure in the evening and then the other group was taking their blood pressure medication in the morning. Now, the timing, well, morning was between 6 and 10 a.m. and your evening dose was prescribed between 8 p.m. and midnight. And they followed patients up over a very long period of time, as I mentioned, and they had very meticulous follow-up in terms of keeping tabs of patients, following up with their primary health care physician or their general practitioner. They were in regular phone contact. They were in regular email communication with patients. And they examined a very large patient population. So let's delve into this study into a bit more detail. So we can see here that the study itself screened more than 20, well, screened almost 25,000 patients. And in the end, they had 9,500 patients approximately in both groups that were randomly assigned to take the medication in the morning or the evening. When you look at the mean age of patients, well, patients were about 65 years, and 57.5% were male, 42.5% were female, about 13% of patients had diabetes, and patients were on medication, often more than one medication. And they followed up patients to look for the primary outcome, and they looked for the development of any adverse cardiovascular event. And obviously a major event being a death as a result of a, of a heart attack or a stroke, or coming into hospital because of a heart attack or stroke. So that was the primary outcome. And they looked at, was there a difference in those patients who had their tablets taken in the morning versus in the evening? Well, after such a long follow-up, the primary endpoint in terms of the development of a complication, of a heart event, of a heart attack, of a stroke, the primary outcome 
occurred in 3.4% of patients taking medication in the evening versus 3.7% in those patients who were taking medicines in the morning. And this was not statistically significant and therefore there was no particular difference in whether you took your medicines in the morning or the evening for your risk of developing a major cardiovascular complication. So I, I guess it has provided some information about the old question of, well, look, taking your medicines at night might be a little better. Well, this study has shown that there is no benefit. But the timing of when you take your medication needs to be individualized. I think it's important that you do liaise with your own general practitioner or physician who has prescribed these medicines for you to work out what is the ideal timing. And although this study, well conducted in a large population of patients, did not show any change, there are some good reasons why we may consider using certain medicines in the morning or in the evening. And a couple of examples to say is you might be on a class of medicine called diuretics. And these diuretics make us lose water and in particular salt from the body. And that is a very effective way of the body lowering blood pressure. Well, if you take those in the evening, you'll be getting up to the toilet frequently overnight. And that's not a nice thing for you and for your quality of life and your sleep. So diuretics we often prescribe in the morning, typically before midday. However, if you might have a syndrome called angina or chest pain, and if your symptoms predominantly occur at night, and there are some people that have these symptoms that occur overnight, while well, using certain classes of medicines for your high blood pressure may be more effective at controlling angina if taken in the evening. For example, also, if you have angina and pain that typically occurs during the day, well then, we would often target your blood pressure medicines that have an effect on controlling angina in the morning. So there's no hard and fast rule with this. There are a few classes of medication that in fact are taken twice a day. But more and more we are seeing medicines now that do have a longer duration of action and can be very effective at being taken only once a day. Well, the study that we presented today showed no particular difference, but of course, always consult your own doctor about what is right for you. And I just want to thank you for supporting the channel. Until the next video, bye for now.